Although mana has been in production for over a decade, we still see significant exploration potential. Following the integration of mana within our business plan, we structured the team to provide a fresh perspective. Given it is a mature exploration area, there is a strong need to reinterpret existing data sets and incorporate more structure and geology into the targeting strategy where we historically, there was a strong focus on geochemistry. We are now building on a geochemical sampling that has been a very successful exploration tool, allowing us to find numerous deposits and targets. MANA is made up of nine exploration permits and one mining permit, which cover over 1,300 square kilometres of the highly prospective Hunde Greenstone Belt. The Grenville, Wonga Fatini, Mboni Shears and their splays have been the source for all known MANA deposits to date. Three different styles of mineralisation have been identified here. Non-refractory sulphides, high-grade quartz, coarse gold and high-grade refractory sulphides. The primary objective is to increase the mine life to closer to 10 years. Samarfa had completed extensive exploration in the past, but we now see considerable additional opportunity remaining. Following our exhaustive review, the discovery target for MANA has been set at 1 to 1.5 million ounces. Our program is focused on evaluating oxide open pit targets within 20 kilometres of the plant, such as Mayula, and evaluating underground targets at Siu and Yafe. We see good potential to continue to increase the WONA and CU underground resources, which offer potential to extract high-grade mineralisation. In addition, it's interesting to note that the other historic minor open pit deposits are constrained by relatively shallow drilling, due to the refractory nature of the sulphide ore. We have not yet considered this refractory resource potential into our five-year discovery target, but it does offer significant upside potential especially if we should, at a later date, decide to attempt to unlock the refractory value of the operations. As you see, despite MANA being a mature asset, we see good potential to extend its mine life.